Hey everyone, it's Scott from Sandspotter.com again, and I've just arrived at Shanghai Pudong Airport for a 10-hour Hainan Airlines flight over to Seattle. FYI, I'm doing this in economy class today, and I'm going to attempt to point out all the pros and cons along the way. However, I say attempt with a twinge of sarcasm though, because telling you how good Hainan Airlines is will be easy. It's the cons which are going to be harder to pinpoint. Starting off my pros and cons list with a pro that has absolutely nothing at all to do with the Hainan Airlines Economy Class product is typical of my short attention span. But that livery is definitely a massive pro. Another embarrassing example of my short attention span was getting distracted by this interesting looking restaurant as I was walking to the American Express Centurion Lounge. Yeah, I could have eaten for free in the lounge, but I'm a sucker for a steaming hot bowl of fried rice. Especially one that I can smell from five gates away. And now, the only problem is trying to figure out how to eat this without a fork. Is it really a sand spotter video if I don't include dramatic footage of myself walking to my gate? I think not. And yeah, the concerned look on her face is all the proof I need to know that maybe I go a little bit overboard sometimes. For the record, there was nothing really good or bad to mention about the Hainan Airlines ground experience here in Shanghai, which is unfortunate considering that this is a pros and cons video and I haven't even delivered on that yet. However, I'm about to step on board and get a look at their economy class product for the very first time, and since there's nothing that can unleash a flood of emotions like a long haul economy class seat can, I have a feeling that things are about to get interesting. Alright, let's slap a big fat pro on these red seats because, well, who the heck doesn't like red seats? Not a very bad first impression in my opinion, and uh, yeah, I'm kind of liking this. If it wasn't for the fact that my last flight was on a Sichuan Airlines A330 with an equally awesome blood red interior, I'd be far too excited about this. But I'm experienced in these sort of things now, which should theoretically allow me to focus more on the seats themselves. But who am I kidding? My short attention span is a mofo, and these red seats are just amazing. And not just because I've got the shoes to match. Not only is there an amenity kit for everyone back here in economy class, every single item inside of it is the exact same shade of red as the seats, and the carpet, and the blankets, and pretty much everything else inside this airplane. Seriously, how can I not add this to the pro list? And would you blame me for adding another one, just because? I mean, getting an amenity kit is one thing, but all this fancy color coordination has got to be worthy of an extra pro. You think? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the boarding door is now closed, and excuse me while I bask in the joy of having an empty seat next to me. Yep, things were definitely moving in the right direction as I dug the seatbelt out from beneath my butt and worked on getting myself strapped in for departure. But then my short attention span struck again, and yeah. rolling out to the runway now, and I'm becoming concerned with the fact that this video is half over and I've yet to start dishing out any cons. Current score is 4-zip, and I'm starting to sound biased. I know. Remember 
when eating in economy class was a bland and mysterious experience. There were no menus to thumb through back then, and the only option we were given was chicken or beef as the stewardesses, not flight attendants, rolled up with the food cart. What do you suppose QSF Aviation would choose if this was his review? This is it, the moment of truth. As soon as I can muster up enough coordination to peel back the tinfoil on my lunch, I'll be able to properly assess it worthy of being a pro or a con. Hmm, I don't know. Let's just give this a meh and be done with it. So what's the verdict on the lunch service? Well, it was decent overall, but the flight attendants didn't seem to be enjoying the process. They were all stone cold and not very friendly if I'm being honest, which was a stark difference compared to the amazing crew on my Sichuan Airlines flight two days ago. Therefore, the first con. Have you any idea how difficult it is to make the Lou review portions of these videos interesting? Getting footage of the nasty bits is off limits, of course, so I always find myself doing stupid things with a camera in hopes of stumbling on something brilliant. It always ends up being stupid, though, and, well, here's more footage of me washing my hands. Two and a half hours of flying time remaining, and the breakfast service is just about to begin. However, this is seat 57G and all, so all I can really hope for is that they reach my row before we begin the descent into Seattle. At least I've got time to have another look at the menu while trying to decide on a choice which would make QSF Aviation proud. As far as breakfast and long haul economy class goes, what do you think of this? Well, you already know my feelings on fried rice, so let's give this a pro, which should conclusively skew this review into the overly positive side of the spectrum. Oh, and just for the record, I paid for this experience myself, and my opinions are my own. And with a final score of 5 to 1 in favor of the pros, with one meh thrown in for good measure, my final opinion is that Paint on Airlines Economy Class is a darn good product. Finally, a shout out to my patrons before wrapping this up because, well, you're all just so awesome. Thanks so much for your continued support, and I really can't do this without you. Anyway, that's it for now, and I'll catch you in the next one.